only did the Constitution stand up to defend the freedoms we enjoy, but also the religious liberties we enjoy. So next, it's a pleasure to introduce Lipsia Ortega. She's with the Traditional Values Coalition. Thank you, Lipsia. Hello, my name is Lipsia Ortega, and I'm here with the Traditional Values Coalition. First of all, I want to thank Jordan for having me here today, and also everyone in the Traditional Values Coalition who's worked really hard against um, this fight and educating the American people. Uh, I first want to say that our generation, this generation, is just not about Facebook, iPods, or MTV. We are more than that. We're actually concerned about the future of our nation. The polls actually said that a majority of Americans, which are these Americans right here, are pro-life. We don't want radical judges being appointed to our courts, let alone our Supreme Court. Judges who are activists or policy, policy changers should run for Congress. They belong over there, not right here. Yeah. And they should not be legislating or advocating from a bench. Elena Kagan has not been shy about her views on partial birth abortion, gays in the military, and international law. At Harvard, she made international law a required course for freshman law students and made U.S. constitutional law an elective. She has praised transnational law professors on campus who believe judges should use international law in American court decisions. Foreign law has no place in Supreme Court arguments. The Constitution is the law of the land and not foreign law. For all the reasons that you guys have heard already, and for the reasons that I mentioned before, we oppose Lena Kagan for Supreme Court justice. Thank you.